For the majority of the Wii's life, there were no special edition controllers ever made for the Wii Remote, and I always found that to be a little bit strange, because the Wii Remote is one of the most unique and creative controller designs ever made, and it just kind of felt like the perfect controller to pump out a bunch of special editions for, but... It just didn't happen, I guess Nintendo were just too busy making accessories like this to worry about silly little special edition controllers, and you know what, that's completely fair because this thing f***ing rocks. Fun fact, we didn't see the first special edition Wii Remote until The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword released on November 18th, 2011. To put that in perspective, that is literally one day short of being five years since the Wii launched in North America. And an even more fun fact is that there were no more special edition Wii Remotes released at all during the Wii era. Every single other special edition Wii Remote released during the Wii U's lifespan, so... I don't know, I just find that to be so damn weird. But you know what would be even weirder? If you didn't hit the like button on this video. Have you done it yet? Oh, you haven't? Alright, that's all good. I'll give you a few more seconds. Anyways. Back to the video, I guess. Uh, so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be taking a look at all of the special edition Wii remotes, and we're going to try and figure out which one is the very best. So yeah, let's get into it. The Gold Legend of Zelda Edition Wii Remote. This is probably the most iconic special edition Wii remote ever, and that is probably partly because, as I mentioned earlier, this was the only special edition Wii Remote that actually released during the Wii's life, but as well as that, it's an absolute banger of a special edition Wii Remote. If you guys have seen any of my previous videos on Nintendo's special edition systems, whether it be the Game Boy Advance SP or the 3DS XL, I absolutely love any system that's gold. It just gives it such a premium look and that is definitely the case for this one. Everything from the front plate to the back plate to the D-pad to the A button is gold and it just looks good. Alongside this, you've got a symbol of the Hyrule Royal Crest over the speaker there, which is a nice little nod to the Zelda franchise, and yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. It is a simple design, but it just looks so premium and so damn nice. This is really a must-have special edition Wii Remote. The Mario Edition Wii Remote. I really, really love this design as well. I think it does such a good job at depicting Mario because the backplate of the Wii Remote is blue to represent his overalls, and then you've got the Mario red on the front plate to obviously represent his hat and sh**. And then I think there's a really smart use of colors on the D-pad, the plus and the minus button, and the 1 and 2 button. Because if you look at the 1 and 2 buttons, they are both brown and are obviously on the bottom of the Wii Remote, so they represent Mario's shoes. And then the plus and minus button in the middle of the system represent the little buckles on his overalls, and the black D-pad represents Mario's moustache. And I just think that's a really, really cute nod to the character, and it just does so such a great job at representing Mario here. Like, I don't think you can do much more to make this the perfect Mario edition Wii Remote. The Luigi Edition Wii Remote. This follows pretty much the exact same design idea as the Mario Edition, but obviously with Luigi's green color instead of Mario's red color. So yeah, it's exactly the same. You've got the blue on the back to represent the overalls. You've got the green on the front plate to represent Luigi's green shirt and green hat. And then you've got the one and two buttons being brown to represent his shoes and the yellow plus and minus buttons to represent the buckles. And of course, you've got the black deep pad to also represent Luigi's luscious moustache. So this remote is, again, amazing for pretty much all of the same reasons I just discussed with the Mario Edition Wii Remote. So, yeah. The Peach Edition Wii Remote. Guess what, guys? This Wii Remote represents Princess Peach. I bet you guys couldn't figure that one out, hey? Anyways, this remote has a dark pink backplate, which represents the... I have no idea what those things are called. 
by the little dark pink bits on Peach's dress. If anyone knows the technical fashion design term for that, drop it in the comments down below. But then on the front plate, we've just got the iconic peach pink color. And the one and two buttons are again at that darker pink as found on the back plate. And then the plus, minus, and home button are all blue. And it's pretty neat because the plus and minus buttons represent Peach's earrings, whilst the home button appears to represent the blue gem in the middle of Peach's dress. So I think that is really neat as well. And then the D-pad is that goldish yellow color which may represent Peach's hair, or could even be Peach's crown. I guess that's just up to our artistic interpretation, hey? But anyways, this remote is still nice, however, I wouldn't quite put it on the same level as the Mario and Luigi editions. I don't really know why, I guess maybe it's because the dark pink backplate and the light pink front plate don't really contrast as nicely as, say, the Mario red and the blue on the Mario edition. I don't really know, but it's still a very nice special edition Wii remote nonetheless. The Toad Edition Wii Remote. This Wii Remote simply has one of the most unique and coolest color combos out of all of them. I really, really like the colors they've used on this. The backplate of the Wii Remote is that dark blue color, which is meant to represent Toad's little vest thingo that he's wearing. And then the front plate is just that grayish white color, which is obviously, uh, I guess it could either be Toad's nappy or, or the white on Toad's mushroom head. Again, that must just be up to a uh, interpretation as to what you would consider that to be. Me personally, I am considering it to be Toad's nappy. Anyways, the D-pad, the A button, and the 1 and 2 buttons are red, which is obviously representative of the red circles on Toad's head. So, this is a bit more of a simplistic design, especially compared to the previous three we've looked at, but I do really love the color combo in this one. I think it just sets itself apart so much because of that. The Yoshi Edition Wii Remote. This one's pretty similar to the Toad Edition in a lot of ways. You've got the back plate being that Yoshi light green color, and then the front plate is just white. And I think from a design perspective, it looks really clean this way. I think it would look just weird if they did it the other way around, so I'm a fan of that. And then the one and two buttons are orange, which is representative of Yoshi's boots. And then you've got the plus, minus, and home button being that Yoshi green color. The A button is just white, and the D-pad is again orange. And I'd have to assume that the orange D-pad is representing the spine across Yoshi's back, which is orange orange, or it could potentially be representing Yoshi's shell. Not really sure on that one, but nonetheless, I think the overall design of this Wii Remote just looks really, really clean. And honestly, I probably usually wouldn't like this color of green on a special edition remote or system. I'm just thinking back to when I looked at the Yoshi Edition 3DS XL, and on that system, I really didn't like the green color across the outer plate, but it definitely doesn't bother me at all on this special edition Wii Remote, and I actually think that the color looks really, really nice on it. The Bowser Edition Wii Remote. This is an amazing special edition Wii Remote. I absolutely love it. Not only does it do an amazing job at representing Bowser, but I think the overall color scheme is so, so, so unique and so interesting just to look at. So the back plate of this Wii Remote is that dark green color to represent Bowser's shell, and then the front plate is yellow to represent the front of Bowser. The one and two buttons are a dark, gray color, which I can only assume is meant to represent the little choke collar he's got on. Um, I don't know what those things actually are, but I'm just assuming here that Bowser's a little bit kinky and it's a choke collar, but may be wrong on that. My apologies if I am. I do think the color may have been a better representation of Bowser if they used it on the plus and minus buttons, because obviously those little collar things are only found on his arms or his neck. So I will give it that little bit of criticism, but I think from an overall design perspective, the dark gray on the one and two buttons just looks really really awesome. So yeah, the plus, minus, and home buttons are just yellow. The A button is that Bowser green color, the same as the back plate, and then you've got an orange D-pad to represent Bowser's awesome looking haircut there. So overall, I think this special edition remote hits it out of the park, not only by representing Bowser really well, but also by just having a really unique and cool combination of colors on it as well. 
So yeah, that is all of the special edition Wii remotes. You may notice that it's just one Zelda edition and then six Mario editions. So there's not really a lot of diversity there, but I think it gets a pass for that because I'm just happy that Nintendo decided to make any special edition Wii remotes at all. And honestly, out of all of the special edition things I've looked at, the Wii remote probably has the most consistent library of amazing special edition designs because, you know, usually when you're looking at a console, console special editions or even just any other consoles special edition controllers there's always usually at least a few bad eggs in there but I genuinely can say that I absolutely love every one of these special edition Wii remotes but now to the final question which one is the best and honestly it's a pretty tough question to answer I think my top three are the Zelda edition the Mario edition and the Bowser edition and if I had to pick one of them, it would honestly probably be the Bowser edition. It's just such a unique and cool design. I really love it. And there honestly isn't anything else quite like it that Nintendo has ever made before it was released or even to date in 2024. So it's probably the Bowser edition for me, but it was a really close call to make. Anyways, that is it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know which special edition Wii remote is your favorite. I'd love to hear that in the comment section down below. Anyways, there'll be a couple of videos on screen to check out if you enjoy my content and I'll see you guys with the next one one later. Bye-bye.